All right, we're out in transition. Cross. Oh, you're giving me too much space, bro. Come on. Green, let's go. Today in this video, we're going to be playing on my seven foot stretch four again on NBA 2K23. And in today's video, we're really just gonna try and take some of the dumbest shots possible and see if we can make them. Limitless threes, step back threes, fades from three, spin shots from three. We're gonna try them all and see if we can make them. And Space Creator is gonna help us make all those shots as well as agent threes. But for the people that are wondering what my build is looking like right now, it is a seven foot tall stretch four with the 92 three pointer. And if you want a tutorial on how to make this build, that's gonna show up in the top right hand corner right now and also here's all of my animations for any of the people that are wondering i am using the kevin durant hop jumper with this build and it creates a ridiculous amount of space as you will see in this video now here is the jump shot now understand that you might not be able to use this jump shot because you need a ridiculously high mid-range or three-point shot to unlock everything involved in this jumper so we're using base kevin durant release one dirk Nowitzki, and release two tim duncan on a 50 50 blend it's an amazing jump shot but with all of that out of the way, let's just uh, let's just go take some dumb shots and see if we can make them. Let's go. All right, game one, we're coming up the court right now. I'm going to try and set this guy a screen. He just runs in the opposite direction. I'm open. Hit me. We're going to pull that. Green bean. Let's go, man. You can't leave me open. Let's go. All right, we're coming up the court right now. I'm going to set this guy a screen. Other guy hedges. I pop. Eh, five seconds, four seconds. I got to get a shot off here. Step back. Come on. That's too easy, bro. Come on. Hall of Fame space creator with a 92-3. That's easy. All right, these guys really do not know how to defend pick and pop. I'm going to set the screen, flood out the other way, open shot, bang, let's go. All right, so apparently this guy knows how to run pick and pop, so I'm going to set that screen, pop outside. Ah, that pass was a little late. Bro, uh, yo, I'm getting doubled. Oh, yo, imagine getting doubled on a seven-footer, and you, you just break that shot, bro. I swear. All right, all right. Back out on transition. He's pulling out, drives. What? What is he doing? Four seconds, three bro are you gonna oh you passed it to him to shoot yeah i'm sagging off on him i know he can't shoot now i got sharp shooting take over come on spotting up limitless range hit me hit me i don't care i'm pulling from wherever i got my take let's go man all right oh i saved the one from going out of bounds all right let's go i'm gonna run out this way they give me the ball run out this way oh you're doubling me again hey whoa whoa at least one of y'all come stay at garmin because i will shoot that and i will not miss all right, score is 14 to 20. We just got to get a stop and end the game. And, oh, he gets the steal right there. He's going to drive to the basket and get the easy dunk to end the game. All right, let's move on to game two. I want to get some crazy shots in. Let's go. Bro, I swear to God, I can't even get up the court before the half the shot clock is gone. They give me the ball with six seconds left. I already know what I'm doing. Going to the left. You know what I'm doing, right? Step back, easy, open shot. And that's an easy green for us because we got that space creator, man. Let's go. All right, let's see what this guy does right here. Oh, he's just driving to the lane, trying to get a contested layup over the top of me. That's not going to work. We're playing hands-up defense. We got pink D. Hold on. Little spin, fade. <laughs> oh, my God. That was insane. Wait, no, that was only a two. Oh, no, I just KD'd that shot, bro. I just KD'd that shot. All right, right here, got sharp shooting takeover, playing defense. Oh, this man's getting plucked. All right, we're out in transition. Cross. Oh, you're giving me too much space, bro. Come on. Green, let's go. All right, we're going up the court here. Scores four to 10. I have sharp take and they're leaving me open. Ooh, that's a bad pass animation. I'm gonna hit him with a little 2K22 play shot movement. Left, back, right, fade in the corner and it's an easy green and an easy bucket. Now watch what happens right here, bro. This happens three times in a row. This guy who was getting butt hurt that he wasn't getting the ball and he wasn't scoring just decided to start standing out of bounds every single time we had the ball, bro. All right, here's the second time of him doing it. We're coming up the court. Scores 9 to 13. We have the lead, and he is just standing out of bounds on purpose, bro. I'm sorry, Mike Wang. If that happens two times in a row, just kick him. But if you thought two times wasn't enough, he's trying to do it here a third time, and we end up losing the ball, and we're transitioning back to defense, and it's a turnover. Now, if you notice right here, he's going to try and do it a fourth time, but I'm a little too quick for him. Left corner, step back, green, easy buckets. He couldn't stop me. It's a 4v2 right now. But he finally decides that he wants to play, and he just starts chucking up shots. He shoots a late there. Our guy gets the board, passes out to me. I'm getting doubled because they realize what's going on. So I have to force, I get forced into a ball pickup animation, and he just shoots again. Whites, misses. Our guy gets the board, runs out, just shoots a three, does not care, and it goes in, and that's the game winner. And you can't even say, oh, you could have just passed him the ball more. Maybe he would have played, bro. Look at the numbers. 0 for 5. 0 for 2, and then he started griefing because he was butthurt because he sucked.
I can't put it any other way. He sucked. And then he started griefing. I would have been nicer, but no, he decided to be an idiot. So yeah, no, I'm not gonna be nice about it, but let's move on to the next game. All right, six seconds left. I'm open in the corner. Five, four. All right, you guys already know what I'm doing at this point, right? Step back, pull up. Easy bucket. All right, if, if the shot clock's running out, you should know what move I'm doing by this point. I swear, bro, you're always gonna have one person on that team that's gonna sell the game. Look at this, taking a contested layup. I know there was only two seconds left on the clock, but he could have passed it out to me way sooner and I could have shot it. All right, coming up the court here, eight seconds, seven seconds. He's driving, passes it to me. I'm just gonna drive right to the basket and hit him with a two-hand dunk. He ain't gonna guard that, bro. He's too little. All right, score is 21 to 20. We just need to get a stop. And right here, for some reason, this guy, this idiot leaves this guy open then lets him get the drive and the easy shot for the game winner bro i'm telling you there's always going to be one person one person that finds a way to sell the game bro i swear look at him three for nine bro are you serious all right this final game right here bro all the crazy things you could imagine happen this guy gets a contested layup, 33% cover to drop in, no problem okay that's cool whatever fine and then this guy's wide open who i know can't shoot but he gets a white to go in, and I'm just in here like, whoa, 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 did I log into the wrong game today? Am I am I playing am I playing 2K22 again? Like I I was confused. Contested layups are going in, whites are going in, I'm still wide open and they won't hit me, and they're taking dumb shots like this. Am I playing 22 again? I I I, I can't tell. I can't tell. I'm leaving my guys open still because I, I really don't think he can shoot. He just got lucky with that white. We get this board right here out in transition. Hit him with nice little step back right here, and it's open. Easy bucky. Come on. All right, so yeah, this is obviously post-commentary at this point in the video. All this final game is just post-commentary. I'm kind of just ranting because this game was one of the weirdest games. Not only did this guy make that one white earlier, they also got that really super contested layup. I really genuinely felt they got bailed out during this game. It was insane because we, we still missed all of our whites. Like, seriously. And speaking of whites, look at this. Another white went in. I had this guy hit two back-to-back -back whites in a row. I genuinely thought they buffed the shooting and I was so pissed when I was playing this game. And then this guy takes a crazy take because, you know, I'm wide open, top of the key, was a sharp shooting takeover as if, you know, I, I can't shoot or anything. But, you know, that's just how games go, especially with randoms. And yeah, I can tell this guy can't shoot because he doesn't want to shoot the open shot. And then for some reason takes that, you know, super contested shot, scores 11 to 15, come up the court. Hit it with the little misdirection. I'm getting, I'm getting kind of pressed right here. Pass it to the guy who now has a center on him, so he's moving way faster than him, and he gets the easy bucket. I forget what happens here, though. I pass it to him. I think he just, I don't even know. They give it to me. Oh yeah, they give it to me. Hit it with the misdirection, and then we go straight to the lane, get the bucket, and now we have team take. Game's pretty much over at this point. Even though they got those ridiculous shots to go in, it didn't end up mattering because we ended up winning like 21 to 13. But think about it. Those two whites, if those don't go in and they don't get the contested layup, that's what, seven points, nine points? Nine of their 13 points came off of shots they literally were not supposed to make. But that's going to be it for today's video, man. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.